Hi there, I'm Chrissy the Scottish Magpie and as promised I'm here with a video showing you what I purchased for £5, a broken teapot. Um, so I'm going to put it up here, a picture of the teapot. Now, um, this is a Japanese Meiji period teapot or sake pot. Um, the reason I picked this up was because it was clearly old. It was very, very chipped. Um, the form of it was quite unique. Um, it was marked to the base. It had the Satsuma mark um, underneath. And then obviously um, I have been studying Asian antiques by um, Peter Combs on YouTube. I don't know if you know of him. He's like the best lecturer um tutor you know just an amazing amazing person uh, his knowledge is just vast um so he will teach you about um the porcelain color um he will teach you about the form of the pieces whether they even did that form at that time whether they did the color that is on this piece at that time he can pick out fakes super super easy um he'll describe like marks to the base um the shape of the base whether that is authentic to the piece um lots of different things the main th reason i picked this piece up all those th things kind of checked out you, you 100 i will never know fully um this this particular market but i know enough to pick up certain things so this one, it was the art on the faces. Um, the faces were so different, so detailed. The art anyway on this piece was superb, absolutely superb. Um, and even though the body was broken, the lid was broken and the spout was broken and they were still asking five pounds, I purchased this piece. And as you can see, it sold for £125 at auction. It stayed, uh, we had a lot of watchers. Um, as you can see, I think we got up to um, 10 plus watchers. And then um, on the last 24 hours, it we got three bits. Um, yeah. Three bids and then it went to 125 within the three bids. Um, so then 24 hours it was paid and that's it shipped off. And I was actually going to do a video with the item but I didn't want to hold it. <laughs> Once it was paid for I was like getting that thing in bubble, bubble wrap and getting that sent off. The next piece I want to go over is again um something that i wasn't a hundred percent sure sorry two seconds sorry about that this piece was um a vase and as you can see it uh we i actually this was in one of the previous videos um we saw i think we purchased this maybe for five five or six pounds um and then i put it on at auction for 20 pounds plus 9.99 shipping um, I was unaware of its maker. It had no signatures on its base. Um, but someone emailed me, and I will show you up here, um, and told me that this was a Robert Jefferson piece. Um, I had a quick look at his uh, particular market, and it's quite good. But um, by the time she emailed me, someone had bid. So the auction is then locked. You can't change your listing title, you can't change your description, you can't change anything, nothing. Um, so I let it run its course. So I did message the woman back and told her someone's bid, so I can't change the title, but thank you so much for letting me know. Um, and then she said, oh, someone else is onto it too. Uh, she did say if it was red or, you know, a brighter color, I would be bidding also. Um, she just wanted to let me know, which was brilliant. So now we know the form of the vases do matter regardless of a signature and people can then identify its form just the artist's form of vase um 
so yeah, uh, obviously this one didn't go very high because my description wasn't super. Um, but we did get £27 at the end of that auction plus £9.99 postage. And then I think someone can make a good £60-£70 profit on that. Um, but again, when you look at some Robert Jefferson pieces, this was very plain. This was a very, um, you know, just, just quite a plain one. So like the woman said, had it been a brighter colour, you know, she would have been also. And I think a piece would have done better. So even knowing the artist, had I put this on at a fixed price, I maybe would have put it on at 65 to 85, somewhere like that. So, um, you know, 27 off of my maybe five pound um, investment isn't isn't so bad. So, yes, that is that section. Now, I just have a tiny small little haul um, from Sunday Market. Um, I wasn't there long. I was actually not great at all. I got hardly any footage. Um, nothing worth putting in. So I'm just going to show you the few things that I got. So I got this beautiful glass vase. It has a sharp pontal and it is signed at the side. Um, me and my husband were trying to figure it out. I think it says M-U-N-D-T, but I could be wrong. Um, it looks amazing in the light, you know, outside. So we got that. Oh, and I got this. Uh, it's like, um, it's like milk glass, but it's uh, it glows. So Vaseline, you know, I think that people call it a few different things. And painted. It's lovely. And. Um, I got this one, sorry, for six, and I got this one for a pound, and I got this big glass, I think it's like a paperweight. This one's signed as well, but it's really scratched as well, so I can't, I'm not going to make it out either on that, am I? But yeah, I'm not able to make that one out, um, and I got this for a pound. So yeah, it was slim pickings, and I got there late. Um, and then it was a lot of um, children's toys, things like that, you know, which I do like to go through in that, but yeah, I didn't see anything today. Uh, well, the other day. So I hope you enjoyed my video and I will be uploading again soon with a new haul. Okay, thank you. Bye.